And it's been such a beautiful relationship so far. Do you feel pressure on yourselves to, to live out some kind of um, fairy tale relationship? Definitely not. Um, no, it, it all comes really natural, and I think C and I have always tried to keep it very real, mm. like but with ourselves and with yeah. everybody else. So Keep it real with each other. They love each other. So C, uh, normally this emotional. Uh, no, C is not really an emotional guy, um, but I think uh, seeing the love of your life uh, coming down the aisle, uh, any man will get emotional. But yeah, I wish them all the best for the marriage, and I'm really looking forward to the rest of the night. Hey everyone, welcome back to Perspective, where we dive deep into the stories shaping our world. Today, we're exploring the recent buzz around one of South Africa's power couples, Sia and Rachel Khaleesi, who seem to have hit a rough patch in their relationship. Fans are speculating that the two might be heading toward a breakup, and in this video, we're looking into what might have caused this from the demands of their busy lives to the emotional struggles they've shared in the past. So, let's break it down. For those of you who may not know, Sia Khaleesi is a rugby legend the first black captain to lead South Africa's Springboks to a World Cup victory in 2019. His wife Rachel has been by his side for years, and they've often been seen as a power couple. They're raising two kids, have built a life together, and have even faced challenges head-on, publicly. But behind all the success and smiles, there have been struggles. In several interviews, Sia opened up about how his childhood trauma, growing up in the tough environment of Zawid, affected him deeply. He's talked about how these experiences hardened him emotionally, which caused him to struggle with opening up to Rachel. He shared that they even went to marriage counseling because he couldn't give everything to his wife. This is important because emotional barriers, especially those formed in early life, can strain even the strongest relationships. Now let's talk about their busy lives. As a world-class athlete, Sia is constantly traveling for games, training, and other commitments, leaving less time for family life. Meanwhile, Rachel has been running her own business ventures, raising their kids and supporting Sia's career. Sometimes the pressure of balancing family with fame can become overwhelming. Not to mention the Khaleesi family has recently moved to France for Sia's career with Racing 92. Moving to a new country brings its own set of challenges, from adapting to a different culture to rebuilding your support network. Another possible factor? Communication struggles. In the past, Sia admitted that he struggled with opening up emotionally and they had to go to therapy for it. He confessed that his heart was hardened due to his childhood and that he needed help learning how to express his feelings. Without good communication, small problems can escalate into bigger issues. It's not just the emotional side. The pressure of public life can also take a toll. Being in the public eye, with everyone watching your every move, can strain a relationship. And with Sia being such an iconic figure in South Africa, that pressure is intense. Rachel has been candid about her struggles with this too, particularly the scrutiny from fans and media. Recently, fans have noticed that Sia and Rachel haven't been appearing together as often on social media. There have been rumors about them spending time apart, and some have even speculated that their busy, separate lives might be pulling them in different directions. At the end of the day, it's important to remember that even the strongest couples can face tough times. Relationships, especially in the spotlight, require constant effort, patience, and communication. If their busy schedules, public life, or past emotional struggles have led to the split, it's a reminder that even icons like Sia and Rachel are human. So what's next for Sia and Rachel? Only time will tell. But whatever happens, we wish them both the best. Let us know in the comments what you think might have happened, and if you think they'll work things out. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell if you enjoyed this deep dive. We've got more stories coming your way right here on Perspective. Until next time.